Hello everyone and welcome to Death's Life. This is a game kind of similar to Lucius, I suppose, except in Lucius you're controlling, um, you know, one person. What you need to do in that game is kill people but make it look like an accident so that nobody knows you killed them. Uh, in this game you are Death and you can control, like, anything in a room and you're supposed to try and kill people, I believe. I only saw a few screenshots of it so I'm not exactly sure. But if you go to play now, you get three different places you can go. You can go to the kitchen, the laboratory, or the workshop. So let's start in the kitchen. Oh, a new death's recruit. Welcome. I'm going to teach you the basics of the death's flow. Death's flow. Okay. You're going to cause death, uh, the death of the character for this. Wait, what? You were going to cause the death of the character. Okay. For this, you must create a chain reaction re rearranging the objects in the scene. I cannot talk today. Hover over the objects to identify what can be rearranged and click on them to change its position. Okay. So, what can be changed? What, what, what do I do? With, oh, here we go. We can change plates. We can put the plates like that. Now, identify which object initiates the reaction highlighted in blue. This one? Oh, okay. So, this one initiates some sort of reaction, uh, depending on where it is. So, it's going to fall, right? What can I do with the broom? Um, what? That's like a freaking optical illusion now. What the hell is happening here? Uh, all right. Well, let's move on to the next thing. What are we going to do? Let's try the pot. Ha. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how any of this stuff is going to do anything, but if I move enough stuff, I'm sure it's going to do something, right? Oh, you can open up this. Finally, take your time and arrange the objects as good as you can. When satisfied, click on the object that initiates the reaction and carefully observe what happens. Okay. See, these, uh, whatever the hell this is, it kind of looked blue, so I got confused. This is blue over here. So the window starts the reaction, hits that thing, and then some other stuff happens as well, but I don't know. I mean, I'm just gonna move around whatever I can. Okay, everything is just being moved slightly. I have no idea how, what, like what's gonna happen where. Let's just go ahead and click on this and we'll see what happens. And then I guess we get another chance to rearrange things so that it's different. Window is open. Oh, that thing up there fell. You failed, try again. You got six of eight objects. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this one. Did I not move it the right way? I thought I had to go over there. Oh, I gotta move everything again. Okay, okay. That goes there. And then, I guess I guess I just gotta find the rest of the objects because I didn't get them all. Okay, hang on a second, guys. I just counted all the objects that I've currently, um, you know, manipulated, and there are eight. So does that mean that I um, have to change some of them a little bit more because I didn't do it right? Let me try again. I just changed the, uh, whatever the hell is on top of those cans up there. Let me try it again. That falls, rolls now. Okay, falls down here, hits the plate. That doesn't do anything. So in that case, everything is fine. We'll move everything back the way it was, but then these plates are gonna stay where they are because I don't think the plates actually work the way they are right now. Move those th those things over here. Is there something else? One more thing? No, we're good? Okay, let's try it. So now it falls down here and lands on the plates. Hits the broom, which hits that, lands on the floor. This guy walks in. Oh, what the hell? Careful, buddy. Is this like freaking Mario? Yeah. You gotta jump like Mario. <laughs> Why did he jump into it? What a dumbass. Oh my god. Okay. So we're basically killing the plumber again. Cool. That that was the dumbest way you could ever die. He jumped into a puddle, then slipped on the puddle that he jumped into, and managed to chop his own head off with a knife. Good job. So now we are in the laboratory. So this is mostly like a point and click type of game. Uh, this is the thing that apparently initiates everything. That drops something in there, some water. So I guess if we rearrange the test tubes, that was two out of six, six objects. So there's six objects in here. Some of them need to be moved, some of them don't. So it's just like a process of elimination here. Let's move that over there. That'll start a reaction. What's next on our list? You guys can't actually see my mouse right now, but hopefully you don't have any trouble like seeing, I don't know, what's being moved around. Oh, that thing can be moved here. What's this down here in the cage? What is that? Ooh, is it a bunny rabbit? Okay. We're we gonna make a mutant bunny rabbit? That'd be pretty cool. I would totally go for a mutant bunny rabbit. Or should I say, a bunny rabid? No? No, I shouldn't say that. That was an awful joke. Okay, well, we're almost done. There you go. I think I got it. Let's try it. So that drops in there. Causes some sort of shit to happen. It's gonna explode, isn't it? Yep. Ooh. There you go, that thing moved over here, but the orange thing is the problem now. Two out of six? Really? That was it? Okay. Oh, you can move it more. Okay, let me try moving it a little bit more. We'll do everything the same way again, but we'll move that thing a little bit more. Um, so then maybe I shouldn't fuck with anything else, because it seems like if that's two out of six, then everything else I moved sucked. 
Either that or it got two out of six of the way through. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just let me just try it again. Okay, so the explosion causes that to blow. That's gonna fall that way. And then nothing happens. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Five out of six this time. So now I just gotta move that right here. Will that be it? Will that be everything now if I just switch everything else the way it should be? Tilt that down like that. And then go. I'm gonna go. Rolls down here, hits that thing, and then how, see, what do you mean I've got, how did I get less objects by moving things more? Okay, move that there. No, that needs to be back in there. Cause it's gonna bang into that, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, it's fine. I got it, I got it. So now, this thing blows up. Causes the canister over here to blow, knocks that thing down, it's gonna roll, it's gonna, the hell was that? Okay, so now there's only one more thing we gotta do. We gotta make sure that blue thing right over here stays where it is. So, um, this will move. Yep, that'll stay there. This is gonna go that way. And now we're done. We got it! It's happening! So now it's gonna roll and do a weird thing, but it's gonna touch that thing, which causes confetti to fall on the rabbit, or pills, one of the two. And now we have a crazy rabbit rabbit. Rabbit rabbit, what's going on? We got our little dude here. He's gonna come check on it. Careful! Cause the rabbit's crazy! Look out! Oh God, his head came off again. Why did his head come off again? It's not the same dude, but either way, <laughs> he's bleeding all over the rabbit. So now the rabbit is, um, he's got red eyes and a red coat. I guess it turn, it'll turn brown eventually because that's usually what blood does. But for now, that rabbit looks super fucking scary. And now we're moving on to the garage. I don't know how many things are in here. Let's just uh, move our mouse around. All right, cool, cool, cool. What's the blue thing? What's gonna start this shit? Box? Nope, not the box, not that thing. There's so many things in here. Ooh, there's a dude under there. So we need to make this thing fall down so that he it lands on him and crushes him. Okay, it's the pot. It's the pylons that work first. So let's just have a look. That hits that thing, falls down, hits that. Mmm, not gonna do it. Okay, let me try again. Uh, yeah. So that needs to be moved over that way so it falls this way. The I'm gonna say that goes up. That's gonna have to go a bit to the side. Box has to move out. That can stay over there on the edge. That's gonna go over here. The tire's gonna move slightly, and let's give that a try. See what happens. Whoop! Hey, look at that! I think I got it! No, I don't. I don't got it. I got close. So in that case, um, let me leave this thing where it is, and I'll leave the tire where it is as well. I'll move the box out. I'll, move, I'll keep this up. I'll move that to the side. That flips over like that. And is that everything? No, this thing can be moved too. Okay, well in that case I'll still move this thing because I knew there was one thing that needed to be um, changed. So, so I thought maybe I needed to move that uh, hook, uh, leave it in the original position, but no, because there's also a box. In that case, do it again. Here we go, falls down like that, yep. Tire rolls, hits that thing, oh! Hey, and it lands on him and some blood comes out. That's what I like to see. Welcome to being dead. Hey, congratulations, you finished this demo. Thanks for playing, next. Okay. So there you go, that game is called That's Life. Um, I don't know how much it's gonna be in the full game, cause uh, like I said, that's just a demo. But it's pretty cool. I like games where you gotta make people die in weird ways. That's always fun. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.